Hello everyone, welcome to my channel. Recently, I learned an extremely useful app from Jeff Su's channel for mouse customization. It literally turns my cheap $20 mouse into those $100 Logitech mouses. Not exactly, but close. It basically has two features. One, it allows you to define custom behaviors for the buttons and the scrolling wheels. Two, it enhances the scrolling. It makes it smoother. It adds precision and also allows you to scroll horizontally, zoom in and out when you press modifier buttons, modifier keys. Okay, in order to download it, you go to its website, mousefix.org. As the uh, name says, it only works on Mac. And if you click download and install, you will get the 2.0 version. But I'm actually using the 3.0 version, which is the beta version. Uh, this one will have more features. It basically um, ha has these modifier features uh, for the scrolling. So in order to, in or, uh, in order to um, install the beta version, I think you just click um, from the menu, it says install the beta version. And for the beta version, it's called the 3.0 beta 5, beta version. And uh, the beta version has um, a license, which is $1.99. If you don't pay that, it uh, only works for 60 days. The 2.0 might be free. Uh, I don't remember. Okay, it's really cheap for the software. I think it's well worth it. Okay, it also has a GitHub um, page. You can see 2,000 stars. And in case you want to see um, the implementation, you can go there. Okay, now let me show you the features. Okay, so um, let me first tell you what my mouse is. Well, it's a cheap one, $16 from Amazon. It has six buttons, but uh, uh, this app doesn't identify this button, which changes the DPI. So in practice, I can customize, and also the first two buttons you can't customize. So in practice, I can customize the middle wheel, but, um, middle wheel, which is the third button, and also these two buttons. By default, um, they go forward and backward um, for the uh, web browser. So this is button 4 and this is button 5. Okay, um, so to define the custom button, customizations, it's a little bit counterintuitive because he doesn't show you all the available um, custom behaviors by default, which is a very reasonable way because otherwise there will be too, too many. So uh, on my, on my uh, mouse, Remember, this is button 4. So by default, uh, if I click it, it, it goes back in the browser. But you can change it to other things or any keyboard shortcut. So I keep it to be back by default. And I, uh, I want to use uh, hold for screenshot. So in order to define, let's get rid of this one. So in order to define that, you just need to go to this definition areas and then hold the button 4. Then you can go to here, then it will enable um, this choice menu. And then you can go here and type in uh, the keyboard shortcut you want. OK, similarly, uh, if you want to use some behavior, just uh, okay, sorry, I, I forgot. I'm using the primary button and it tells you the primary one doesn't want work. So you can go here and then double click. Then it will 
bring you to that menu. It is also possible to do triple click. But uh, it, uh, as you can see here, but uh, it's too much trouble to do triple click. So let's get rid of it. OK, so um, this click and drag is also very useful. So let me show you. Oftentimes, I dislike those websites or those sheets that has a horizontal scroll scrolling because I don't have a horizontal button but now I have it because when I hold down to this button 4 and just drag it it can scroll me into any directions both up and down and also left and right so you can see So you can see if I drag it, it can go up and down and also left and right. Okay, for the scrolling part, if we want to scroll horizontally, we need to do the shift key. Then we can go left and right. Okay, this is pretty important for me. Because otherwise I have to drag this thing. Okay, well we are here. Well we are here. Let me show you uh, what happens if I turn off the smooth scrolling. So you can see it's it's very discontinuous. I think it's also benefit from here. It's very discontinuous, very cho uh, choppy. But if I turn on the scrolling, smooth scrolling, it becomes much smoother. Okay, this one is also quite useful. Maybe my mouse is too cheap. I notice oftentimes when I scroll down, it will first go up a little bit instead of just go directly down. But uh, it seems if I turn this one on, that doesn't happen anymore. Oh, I think uh, this is how you get the beta version. Uh, there's a button to check updates and check out beta versions. Okay, that's all I want to talk about for today. Hope it's useful for you too. Thanks for watching.